Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to optimize your Ark Survival Ascended game on your PC, Xbox or PlayStation depending on your device. All these commands are going to work and options are going to work on any device that you're using. So it's cross-platform optimization for Ark Survival Ascended. Uh, we're going to start by the most basic uh, commands which is and then go and uh, do the you know uh, CPU GPU optimization. So I'm going to be showing you if uh, how to test if your GPU or CPU is the problem and what commands to use for them. So the first thing to do is we have the R volumetric cloud. We're going to take that out. So this is the most common one. Uh, as you can see, the clouds uh, up there are flickering. Just press Enter; they all go away. And then r dot volumetric fog fog space zero and enter the fog goes away so everything becomes clear and nice and you can see into long distances this is astreous here then what you want to do is you want to do GCM so I'm in GCM mode you just type GCM and enter and double jump and then fly as fast as you can so you're faster than any dino in the game and when you're in GCM and look up on the top left of my screen there's GPU and CPU limits usage so they're not exceeding 100% as you can see so CPU is uh, uh, about 80 and the GPU about 70% so when you do this you you can know which one is the bottleneck if your cpu reaches uh hun about 100 percent all the time then the cpu is the bottleneck if this uh, gpu reaches 100 percent then the gpu is the bottleneck so this is the way to test it after each modification or command that you use just do that and you'll be fine the next thing to do is uh, there's the water. If you have a bottleneck on your CPU, uh, do the command r dot water dot single layer. Uh, if we do one, this is how it looks. The water. If we do zero, this is how it looks. So it depends on your preference. This takes the strain off of your CPU and GPU as well. So this is uh, really, really helps because there's a large area of water that needs rendering and processing. So you take this away. The second thing to do if your CPU is the problem is R dot post processing dot disable materials space one so we're going to enable the disabling of the post processing press enter what this does is that the material that you see like rocks trees and everything they're not going to have post processing and that's going to take uh, a lot of strain off of your cpu and give you better performance uh, also uh, the grass density and foliage you can use the commands if you want it's foliage dot density scale zero i'm going to leave the all the commands in the description and grass dot density scale space 0 0.5 or one as as you like you can play with that and see which one uh, works for you uh, also in the settings here if you go to the settings, uh, this is pretty important. You go to video and the FPS here. If you if your FPS if uh, your game is stuttering or you know have any type of uh, lag, reduce this to say 45 for example, and make sure your display refresh rate is also set to the same refresh rate here, so that you know there's no lag or problems. So your monitor will, will refresh with the same rate that you're, uh, you have set here. If you're using um, NVIDIA graphic cards, use DLSS. If you're using AMD, use FSR. If you're using uh, Xbox or uh, PlayStation, use Unreal. 
then for the quality, uh, you can use DLAA if you're using NVIDIA cards. Ultra performance, this is gonna, um, I tried ultra performance, performance uh, balanced was the best option for me. It gives the best uh, results in terms of FPS and quality, so balanced. And uh, V-Sync off. Th uh, second thing, uh, make sure to hit save uh, each time you change a setting. If you go to graphics, I have everything set to low. The view distance to medium, this is uh, playable on medium. Uh, if you set it to epic or you know um, any other setting, that means that's gonna be rendering a, a large area each time, and that puts a strain on your GPU. So if your GPU is the bottleneck, play with this and uh, reduce it or increase it as you like until you don't have your GPU going up to 100%. For textures, this is the same thing. This is for uh, also your GPU. Uh, play with it low to epic according to your uh, capabilities, device capabilities. Post-processing here is set to low, but we disable it completely on materials uh, uh, if your CPU is the problem. The general shadows, I like to keep this on medium because low looks really, really bad. <laughs> uh, the rest of these settings I have on low. Uh, the motion blur and light bloom, light shafts, all these things, I have them on off. Also these uh, foliage interaction all the way to the left. Uh, so if you use like foliage, uh, uh, you know, this one here, enable foliage and fluid interaction to off. You don't need to put like foliage commands, so you have the settings here, so already. Uh, so I have all these set to off, and there's a, a really nice uh, addition here. If you go to UI and go to minimal floating name uh, setting, this one is by default on off, which means when you go to your uh, dinos, close, uh, I mean all your dinos will have floating names over their head, and that's a lot of info on the screen. If you set them to on, if the dyno is away from you, it will only have a green uh, sign of over its head. Uh, when you get close to it, you get its info. And after each setting, just go double jump and fly like this, and see how the game uh, the game is working. If it's doing okay, no stuttering, no problems, because you're fly in GCM mode, you fly faster than any dyno in the game. So uh, this is a good test. So you fly like this, and as you can see, everything is uh, nice and smooth, I guess. And no problems, stuttering or anything like that. So you get you get a smoother gameplay. So I hope uh, you like today's video. Make sure to subscribe for future videos. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos on Ark Survival of Vault. Uh, I mean, Ascended. <laughs> Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.